Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today is Friday the 5th. Still stuffy. However, I did get a COVID test just to be on the safe side because it's been going on for a little while and it came back negative, no flu. It definitely is a sinus infection. So I feel good about that. Um, but I'm feeling so much better. I took Wednesday off of work. I don't ever call off, but I just felt terrible. So I took the day and I literally laid in bed all day. The cats were thrilled. Let me tell you, they were so happy that I was in bed. We all snuggled up under the covers and spent the day just resting. And it did a world of good for my headache. I think I just waited way too long and the antibiotics are taking time to kind of clear up. But this morning is the first morning and I can't tell you how long I woke up and I don't have a headache. So I wanted to share some friend mail with you to get this vlog started. First, I got this wonderful, wonderful card in the mail from Barbara. Guys, look how nice that is. Isn't that so pretty? I love mail. So Barbara, thank you. And then from Jennifer, I got this handmade card. Guys, you are so talented. I do not have a paper crafting. I'm not a paper crafter. Oh. There's Gabby. He wants to say hi, too. And I think this is beautiful. I love it. So thank you, Jennifer. And then I got a lovely card and letter from Nancy. And look at the birds. It's so spring-like. Thank you all so much. I love hearing from you. And honestly, I don't feel like I... I guess, to me, I do this because I love it. But I don't... I don't feel like I'm doing anything above and beyond. I don't know. I'm trying to, you know, sound like a normal person here, but I appreciate hearing from you that I could be a bright spot in somebody's day. That's really a bonus in my life. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, then, guys, I got this wonderful card from Lene. Look at that, I love it, and she sent me these little zip pouches. If you don't know me, I am like the zip poucher. I love a good zip pouch. And look, it's all black cats. And there's a tuxedo, a formal one for Wellington and Alex. Oh, and these are wonderful, fantastic quality. I love them. So we have this one and I know exactly, I already tested them out and my pens and markers fit in here. So these would be perfect for my planner supplies. And this says, cats are love covered in fur on this side. And then life with cats is where it's at. Yeah, where it's at. Oh, and then wait till you see the inside of this one. Oh. Guys, these are amazing. Lene, do you sell these like on Etsy or something? Because we need to point people in your direction if you do. I don't see. I don't see. If you do, but I know you have, oh, it just says handmade by Lene. But if you have a store or something, let me know and I'll put it in the comments below because these are fantastic pouches. They would make great pouches too for masks. Keep them in your car, but I love them for my favorite thing. And I'm sure half of yours, office supplies. So these are gonna come in very, very handy. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. Guys, I'm a mess today. And then from Christy, from Christy, I got a lovely letter and a whole big bunch of these. And let me tell you, that's fantastic. And I also, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to or not, but I've been using it on my hands. Like I just put a little bit when I'm in the car on my fingers, if they're dry, it works. I mean, I don't see why not other than my hands will smell like cherry but they're fantastic. I'm even sharing some with my niece, Sarah, because she's all dry too. So she found these for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate these wholeheartedly and they will get lots of use. Oh, this one, it kills me. And I keep showing it to my whole family. First of all, I love these cards. Oh, it's a little kitty with yarn. If little kittens weren't such a pain in the neck, I would get another one, but they are. This is from Teresa. Oh, guys, 
Oh, I'm gonna take it out. Cause see, I already broke into it, showing it to my family. It's a black cat on the front. <laughs> and a cat butt with a tail. And ooh, fling them across the room. Hey, they stand up on their own too. They're chip clips. I love them and I cannot wait. I was waiting to put them in my kitchen until I showed you guys. I can't wait to get them to good use. These will hold up my pork rinds like nobody's business. Thank you. And I think one more came. And this is from Candace. Candace is in Illinois. And she sent me a notepad because y'all know me, right? I love my notebooks, my notepads and pens. And it's morning, noon and night to-do list. Here, I'll take it out and show you. Because this is going on my desk today. Isn't that fantastic? Morning, noon and night and it's just to-dos. What do I need to get done during the day? It doesn't have the magnet on the back, which is fine with me because I will sit it on my desk. I don't actually mind a magnet one way or the other to me because I usually write on my desk I'm not sticking them to anything magnetic and sometimes I will remove the magnet but irrelevant nobody cares um yeah and this is a lot of paper I'm gonna have a lot of to-do lists because I'm a lister and then I think she made these yes she did because she attached the made by um guys St. Patrick's Day mask, please. And these are the good ones too. She makes them really well with the wire in the nose piece. <gasps> and I won't put it on because I have lipstick on and I don't want to um, stain it like I have half of mine. <gasps> but look it. And this is this new design I haven't tried yet that holds it out so you're not like eating mask all day, which is nice. <gasps> but look. So leprechauns. Oh. Easter bunnies, cause you gotta have a good seasonal mask. And I love that you can really see here in that pocket where she puts that wire. That is an excellent seamstress. I wonder, do you have a store? Do you sell these? I have to tell you, this is my favorite because I love the Grinch. Six feet people, six feet. It's the Grinch. He's wearing a mask. And then these are all little Coronas. <laughs> I already had this one on. So I've already bent the, but the wire is good under your nose to keep from fogging up. So thank you, thank you, thank you for these. They will get good, good use because I do wear a fresh mask every time I go out and then I hand, been hand washing mine. I find that they last better. Um, I have Dr. Bronner's and it's a Castile soap. Oh, and here's the washing instructions that come with it. Girl, do you have a store? We need to know if you have a store. And her preferred method is hand wash. It's 100% quill, wet the mask rub vigorously. Can be machine wash, but I find that the machine washing is really rough on the masks. But Candace, if you have a store, let us know. Again, because these are fantastic. Um, what I was saying is that I have some Dr. Bronner's, which is, <laughs> hi buddy, which is all natural um, Castile soap. It's good for like literally everything, including like fruits and vegetable wash. But um, I soak mine in a bucket, like a Dollar Tree bucket, and I wash them with the Dr. Bronner's in really warm water and then rinse them really well. And that seems to work. Um, and they have a little mint smell to them. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I got to get to work. It's coming up on 8 o'clock, but I want to get started on my vlog this week because I'm feeling better. Oh, and thank you all so much for your support with my Pelotonia. The donations have been coming in, and I can't... I am just so blessed and so thankful for all of you and my friends and family for the support that I'm receiving. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I think this week I will have up a video of my bike. We're going to tour Speedy, give you a little look-see on my road bike and all the accoutrement that I need to ride. All right, let's get to work. Welcome to the morning, guys. It's Saturday. And we're getting ready to clean out the fireplace for the season. 
I don't do too, too much. I just had the chimney sweep out this winter, so we're good for that. But I did get this, I think at the Dollar Tree, just a little broom and um, dustpan. I used to use my um, vacuum cleaner to get all the dust, dirt out of here and the ash, but that's probably not a good idea. And I have a new vacuum cleaner that doesn't really do that. So, right now we're just getting the bulk of it up. I already took the log holder dealy thingy out. I mean, I'm gonna have a mess here, I know that. I'm gonna have to do a lot of cleaning up, but I'm not getting every little piece of ash out, just most of it. Right, and then I'm gonna to have to run the vacuum because I can guarantee you there's gonna be ash all over the front of this thing. I'll need to come in here and mop. Like I'll probably do the steam mop on the hearth here after I wipe it up. But just enough to, you know, dust. We wanna avoid any extra dust this year. So there, I think that's probably I will get the vacuum in there now that I've got the bulk of it out. I'll just suck up the extra. But what I also need to do is like get up in here and just wipe it down. I want to shut the flu for the summer. So we got that done. I do have some fake or some real logs, but I'm just gonna stick them in there. But I want to just wipe this down. There's a lot of ash over here. Maybe I'll get the vacuum out, maybe I won't, we'll see. If I do, it will be later. Oh, here, I need to get a really good, wet up in here and then it will dry pretty yep i miss my i will miss my fireplace i really have enjoyed and do enjoy having a fire i'm sure you've seen my videos but it's time it's time to say goodbye and welcome spring you know it's that time of year for the spring to come. I'll have to get like a sponge out of here and do that, but let's put this back. I'm not, I'm not getting in here and like scrubbing things. I have two pieces of wood left from the winter time. And what I'm just gonna do is stack it in the fireplace until um, spring is done, or until winter next year, then I'll burn it. But I definitely need to scrub down this hearth. There's a lot of ash and stuff down here and this. And then I'll take this box that I keep my firewood in outside, give it a good shake down, get rid of any thing. I'll probably put this in the garage. Or I can sit it up here, it doesn't matter. There we go, it's nice and tidy. For now, I'll probably just sit it right in there. Oh, ooh, see, yeah. It's messy business having a wood burning fireplace, kids. But I love it. I am looking into getting potentially a gas insert at some point, but that will be post pay off the bills. All right, well, we have a nice clean fireplace ready for spring. All right, guys, we're gonna make some keto Oreo chaffles. I got this recipe from Keto Friendly Recipes off of Pinterest. Um, yeah, so we're gonna make it, now I'm gonna double it, but I did make the frosting already, and this was two tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener that I put in a 
coffee grinder and turned it into confectioner's monk fruit. Two tablespoons of cream cheese and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. I added a little butter to mine just to make it more like a buttercream. So that is done. I'm running the dishwasher. Now we're gonna whip up this batter here real quick. So we have, and I'm doubling this recipe. So I have in here, um, four tablespoons of cream cheese and two teaspoons of vanilla right now. And just so you know, a tablespoon of cream cheese is a half an ounce. I weigh it because it's just easier. And then we're gonna add two eggs. This should make six chaffles. I will probably just eat one with a little bit of the frosting on it. So two eggs. Okay, now the rest of the ingredients is I have two tablespoons of dark chocolate cocoa powder. It calls for black, I didn't have it. Half teaspoon of baking powder. And then this is um, two tablespoons of monk fruit and a little instant coffee. The instant coffee always helps with the um, coffee flavor. Here's our little odd thing. It's two tablespoons, I don't, like that's an overkill, right? Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. But here's the deal. To get that tang, you really would use like, possibly like Coke, you know, um, buttermilk or something, but we don't have that option. So really mayonnaise is oil, eggs, and vinegar. So, yeah. and there we go. That is the recipe. I'm gonna clean this mess up. I'm gonna get a portioner, I think that should work. And a little spatula. You just always wanna make sure, especially with keto, you don't have the flour to kind of bind everything. So you really just wanna make sure that you got everything really good and mixed. Now I'm going to tr plug in my griddle here after I wipe this mess down because, you know, nobody wants a messy work surface. I mean, I guess you might, but I don't. How about that? Now, this will take a couple minutes heat up and what I do is I take one of these Dollar Tree cutting boards and I'm gonna sit it on there in case it overflows it doesn't get on my cutting board it just gets on this little one but that needs to warm up for a second all right I think we're ready we're gonna do our first scoop and what we do not want to do is overflow this so maybe a little over a scoop. And we're gonna let it go for three minutes. And then I'll check it in those after three minutes. But this is just gonna do its thing. It's gonna steam. It's gonna be very, very soft. I have a plate over here to stack them on. It's gonna be very soft when it first comes out because really there's nothing binding this besides the egg and the um, cocoa powder so it really needs a minute to 
set up. You really want them to come to room temperature. Oh, I overflowed it. Dang it. Okay, next time, not quite so much. But this is why it's on this and not on the uh, regular cutting board. Right? Because this is a mess. It's okay. It's almost time to buy a new dash. I have used this one a lot. And then I want a clean spatula to try to get it out. All right, we'll be back. Okay. Timer's getting ready to go off. See, that's that little bit that overflowed. It's okay though. But you really want to be gentle. Gentle. Look how dark it is. All right, that's number one. All right, we're going to try just one scoop, one full scoop. And see how we do. There. Okay, three minutes. You don't want it to, I don't want mine to be crunchy. I want them to be nice and soft. Mmm. It looks delicious. This is going to be the closest thing to an Oreo I'm going to get anytime soon. But we'll see. I'll bring you back when they're all cooked up. Okay, that batch of batter made seven chopples, which is pretty good. Look how dark they are. That is awesome. That's the dark chocolate um cocoa that I used and it's unsweetened cocoa powder so here's the here's what they look like with the filling it's just like a really a buttercream um like that they're super soft so they're not like a cookie mm. so good one thing the monk fruit sweetener does not dissolve so you do get a little bit of a texture from that but i did it in a food processor i could probably do it a little longer it tastes like like an oreo meets a devil dog or a one of those little debbie chocolate things but it's very soft. You could use erythritol, like a powdered swerve or something, um, if you don't mind the cooling effect. I rather take a little bit of the grit from the erythritol than that almost after toothpaste feel of the erythritol but that's you know that's your mileage but i will say delicious delicious perfect end to my keto dinner i'll eat half put the other half in the fridge and i will wrap these up and put them away and i'm done for the night so i hope you enjoyed this night's um tiktok keto pasta and the oreo chaffle have a good one. Bye. Hey guys, we are ending the evening with some tea. It's a little chilly tonight. I've been videoing all day, editing and the light. But I thought I would say good night to you finally. Got my hip hop hooray cup. I am toasting one of my Oreo chocolates that I made yesterday. And I'm gonna, instead of butter, I'll just use a little bit of that frosting. I, uh, for me, a little goes a long way. Sorry, I'm 
I'm also cleaning and we're gonna take a shot while I'm talking to you. It's my weekly. I am feeling so much better. Have my sinus infection. I don't know if I mentioned that. I've been on antibiotics I have tonight and tomorrow morning. And that's the end of my antibiotics. That's 10, 10 days that I was on them. Called my doctor. It wasn't it wasn't really getting better. And I was a little weirded out about that, that it wasn't getting better. So I was like, um, hey, when do I need to be concerned that this is coronavirus and not a sinus infection, right? I mean, I feel like I'm, I like to, I'm freezing my drink for later. That's how I get my fluids in. I freeze it. Um, anyway, so she was saying, you know, go get tested. It's been, you know, long enough. It was negative, but it doesn't say that it wasn't COVID. It just says I wasn't actively COVIDing. I don't even know if that makes sense. I don't know, guys. So I am right now tidying up my kitchen. I like to go to bed with it clean if that makes sense and then when i wake up in the morning it's uh nice and clean make my coffee i did make a big pot for iced coffee it guys it is going to be um 60 degrees this week Woohoo! so i made a big pot of coffee today let it cool and then I just stick it in my fridge I could have done cold brew but I didn't think about it ahead of time not a big deal I just made the iced coffee because I want that when it gets warmer out and I brought all my plants most of them I still have a couple from the back door to the front window where my bay window where I keep them in the summertime where they get the most sunshine and I even hung one I put up a ceiling hook in my bay window and I have one hung I want to hang one here over my soffit but I'm kind of afraid I don't really know what I will be hitting you know what I mean I don't want to go drilling into something so we'll probably avoid that how about those my chocolates are toasted. Funny fact, I got rid of my my actual toaster years ago after I started keto. And my mom had a um, toaster oven when she was alive, but I don't really toast much or didn't really toast much. I'm just putting a little bit of this on here. So um, I got rid of it. So I just use my broiler. I don't feel like I need a dedicated machine to toast. The little bit that I toast. This is the, my cream cheese froth. Oh, to tea ready. Water's boiling. I love hot drinks at night. They just calm me down. This is not my sleepy town tea. That is actually English breakfast tea, so it's fully caffeinated. I'm okay with that, right? I mean, heck, I drink coffee sometimes at night. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just going to smear this on my little truffle, and then I'm going to go and edit videos and get them up. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I will talk with you later. Bye.